Hey everybody, this is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the easiest methods you can use to propagate your favorite shrubs. So stay tuned, there's more to come. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you a really easy way that, uh, to propagate plants and get free shrubs. Some of you may know about this technique, uh, others may not. I've, I've actually been pretty surprised when I talk to some of my friends and I get questions about how to, how to do this method. It's really straightforward. Uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about propagating shrubs. There are a lot of different techniques out there that you can use to propagate shrubs. Uh, you can do uh, cuttings. There's softwood, semi-ripe, and hardwood cuttings. Uh, there's obviously the, uh, the technique of growing shrubs from seed, which uh, can sometimes take a long time. And some, some plants are harder to germinate than others. So today we're going to be talking about a real simple technique that you can use. Uh, my uh, nephew, RJ, is here. He's going to be helping me. So we're going to get started right now. I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to see how easy it is. And you can start right away uh, propagating your shrubs and save yourself some money in the process. So the technique I'm going to be using today is, is called layering, and it's a real simple process that you can use to uh, clone your favorite shrubs. <clears throat> so this is a hydrangea arborescence, a smooth leaf hydrangea. Uh, it's mini mauvette. It's a little cultivar. only gets about three feet tall, three feet wide. But uh, I'm going to demonstrate on this, and then I'm going to demonstrate on a nine bark, uh, this process. And on the nine bark, it might be a little bit easier to see since there's uh, no leaves on it. <laughs> but I'll do my best here. So basically what you want to do is you want to push the stem. I have the stem here. It's kind of hard to see. So you want to find a stem that's kind of pliable, one that you can bend all the way down to the ground. And you want to remove any of the lower leaves. And another thing that I've done, you don't always have to do this, but I've, I've wounded this a little bit by scraping it with a knife just to take off that uh, outer layer. And this will help it root a little bit faster. So what I'm going to do is just cover this up with uh, dirt. Okay, so we're covering it up with dirt. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a place a, sm a small rock on top. Go ahead and put that rock down there. All right, the rock's going to keep everything in place. It's going to keep it. It's going to keep the stem from coming back out of the out of the uh, the dirt, and it's going to allow that to root. That's what it kind of looks like afterwards. Now, uh, depending on the plant, you know these things. It'll take a few months for this thing to root. Uh, this is a great time of year to do layers in the fall. Uh, it's a perfect time. What I'll do is just, uh, you know, I'll just basically forget about this. I'll come back out here in the spring. I'll check on it and see if it has a, a nice root system forming up. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do once they are establishing a root, uh, I might let it go for a little bit longer for a few months. And then what, what I'm going to come down here and do eventually is just cut it away right here and separate it from the mother plant. But I'll still let it come in here and harden off on its own. And then by next fall, this should be ready to plant somewhere else in my yard and I'll have another free hydrangea. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just pause this video for one second. I'm gonna go up to this nine bark and I'm gonna show you how to do it there. And I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to see since there's no leaves on it. Okay, here we are at the nine bark. It's just a small little shrub that I planted last year, but it's doing really good. So we're gonna go ahead and layer this and uh, hopefully you'll get a better uh, better angle and a better view on this. Go ahead, RJ, if you want to, shove that down and put cover it with dirt. Put a nice good mound thing of dirt on there. Good. And then put that, while you're pressing down there, put that rock on there. That should be good. All right. So now we have the we have the plant stem. The part that we want to root is, is uh, firmly held in place under the dirt by this rock. Uh, here's the, the main mother plant. And then here is the part that's going to layer. So this should layer, uh, this should root out. Hopefully by spring it'll have roots. And then again, I'll probably leave it in place for a little bit longer. And then I'll separate it from the mother plant right here. Let it harden off a little bit and then I'll transplant it. So that's really, that's really how easy this process is. There's really nothing to it. Anybody can, can do this. I don't care what, uh, what your experience is. Uh, as a gardener is. I don't care how much experience you have or don't have. You can definitely layer plants. Uh, it's a great way to save money. It's a great way to, to get new plants. So I hope this tip helps you out. Uh, hope everybody has a great day. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do some more videos here shortly coming up. And hope everybody, hope everybody has a great day and a great night. Thanks.